The Gram Stain The Gram Stain was created in 1884 by Danish physician Christian Gram. The stain is the most commonly used differential stain. A primary stain, such as crystal violet, is first applied and then fixed within the cell via the use of iodine. A decolorizer is then applied, which washes away the primary stain from the cell. Finally, a secondary or counter stain, such as safranine, replaces the primary stain in the cell. Some bacteria do not decolorize, and therefore retain their original stain, appearing dark purple. On the other hand, bacteria that decolorize and counter stain with safranine appear pink and are termed gram-negative. The gram stain is one of the first tests done to unknown pathogens, as it provides initial clues towards their identity. First, a clean microscope slide is passed through a flame face down to sterilize. In a similar manner as the simple stain, a small wax circle is drawn on the sterilized slide to identify the location of the bacteria. A drop of water from a sterilized wire inoculating loop is placed inside the wax circle. Water allows the bacteria to be smeared appropriately. Sterilizing the loop between each transfer, add a small amount of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria to the same slide, ultimately smearing the two bacteria together. For some labs, multiple gram stains will be completed, with some of the slides containing either gram-positive or gram-negative bacteria. These other slides will act as controls for the slide containing multiple types of bacteria. Once dry, the bacteria are killed and fixed to the slide by passing the slide through a flame. Make sure that the bacteria never come in contact with the flame. The gram stain consists of a series of stains. First, cover the smears with crystal violet for 30 seconds. Gentle rocking of the slides will facilitate proper coverage. Between each stain, the slide is to be rinsed with water. A gentle stream of water should be applied to the tilted slide, taking care not to spray directly onto the bacteria, as this may wash away the bacteria. It is not necessary to dry the slide until the entire gram stain is complete. Make sure to repeat this washing process between each stain. Next, Gram's iodine is applied for 30 seconds. Once complete, the slide is briefly washed and flooded with either 70% ethanol or decolorizer. The exact time of this flooding depends on when the color dripping off the slide is no longer purple. When this occurs, stop decolorizing. Again, rinse the slides and then cover them with the counter stain safranine for 60 seconds. Rinse thoroughly one more time and blot dry with bibulose paper. As shown here, using different sheets during the process will aid in rapid drying. However, try to avoid wet or stained sheets. Make sure not to rub the slide, as this will remove the bacteria. Now it is time to view the bacteria using the microscope. If unfamiliar with the proper use and function of the microscope, review the video, How to Use a Microscope. Observe the stain under standard oil immersion by placing a drop of oil on the bacteria smear when the lenses are between 100x and the oil immersion lens. Remember, no cover slip is needed. Seen here are examples of gram-negative, gram-positive, and gram-positive and negative bacteria slides. Color and bacteria characteristics can be used to identify the differences between the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria.